Well, I'm lucky to be speaking to Julian Lachey, independent photojournalist down in D.C. for President Biden's inauguration. Julian, how are you doing down there today? Hey, thanks for having me, Brian. I'm doing pretty well today. It's been it's been a great morning. I want you to start by just describing the mood and the scene and where you are. Hey, so I'm currently in Washington, D.C. I'm on North Capitol Ave. As you can see, the Capitol is is right down the block from me. This is the one of the closest locations that you can get to the Capitol. Traffic wise, they're blocked off right down there is everything's blocked off. The mood is is exciting. It's people are, you know, excited for a new president. The guard and the national national guard and the police are definitely a bit on edge as you know, as expected today with all of the preparation of of today. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Can you describe the presence of military and security? Um, when you're in downtown Washington, there is a massive perimeter of fences around the entire National Mall. And as you go blocks towards and away, there is either military or Capitol Hill police almost set up at every intersection. So there's a, an incredible presence of military and authorities here just making sure that anything suspicious, anything, you know, that seems a little funny is handled. You know, I think they're making sure that this can go as smoothly as possible. Now, if I'm correct, you had a, a personal interaction with uh, either Secret Service or some security in uh, the days prior to today. Can you tell me about that? Yes, absolutely. I think it was January 16th. I was just walking around taking photos of documenting the fences being put up, the, the National Guard standing at the gates, you know, just the preparation that the city has been going through for the inauguration. And I was just walking in Secret Service pulled up next to me. They got out of their car and they just, they were very nice about it, but they said they had a call about a photographer just taking pictures. So everyone is very heightened. They just checked to make sure I was all right. I had my press credentials and that was all right. But wow. everyone is definitely a bit, a bit on edge. So somebody dropped a dime on you, Mr. Lachey. Watch yeah. out. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, it, it, tell me a little bit about what you're seeing through your lens. You know, what kind of opportunities are you getting to photograph? And obviously the area is, per, is set up with a perimeter, but tell me a little bit about your photojournalist work that you're getting done. So unfortunately, I will not be getting in to any of the, any of the places where inauguration events are happening. So I'm choosing to document the preparation that the city has gone through, the miles and miles of fencing that have been put up, the 20,000 National Guard troops that have been sent in from all across the country. Yesterday, I witnessed and documented um, a Minnesota National Guard group doing crowd control and protest exercises and training. So I'm just documenting what's happening here at this you know, historic, historic inauguration that's looked way different in D.C. than than previous years. So moving forward, what's the rest of your day look like? And uh, I don't know, is there a parade happening? What's going on down there? Yes, I think it has It has been pretty quiet. I am expecting some sort of protests happening, but I'm expecting outside of the fences where you know security is less. I'm assuming some sort of protest actions, groups, people excited Biden's here, people angry that Biden is here. I'm, I'm unsure what to expect today, honestly, but I think there'll be something. Well, uh, listen, uh, as I always tell you, be careful, watch your back, please be safe. And uh, we wish you nothing but the best. And I thank you for joining me live down from DC here. So uh, we'll, we'll talk to you again real soon, Julian. Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much, Brian. We'll talk soon.